The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve from Botest.com, and today we'll be performing a full features inspection and performance evaluation on the all-new 300 OSX from Chaparral. Now, the team at Chaparral tell us that the 300 OSX is their answer to the need for an outboard-powered sport boat in the 30-foot range, and it also blends two crucial designs together, center and dual consoles, along with a below-deck hideaway. So let's have a look at how they accomplish this. From the moment we stepped aboard, we couldn't help but notice the helm being situated smack dab in the center of the boat. It was as if we just stepped aboard a center console vessel, with all the rest of the boat speaking of dual console comfort and safety for the rest of the family. Stepping up to the helm, we had clear visibility forward. There was 21 inches of open visibility between the top of the windshield and the overhead hardtop, which has full standing headroom. A single windshield wiper was mounted front and center. The hand-stitched vinyl-wrapped instrument panel has a symmetrical look and feel. The center-mounted hydraulic wheel tilts, and there's a Yamaha engine display in front. Two 10-inch Simrad multifunction displays are to either side, and LED switches mounted on stainless steel panels outboard on both sides give the helm a contemporary look. The primary control binnacle is to starboard at roughly a 45-degree angle. The Optimus 360 joystick is outboard and is handy either standing, looking aft, or forward because of its location. The Lemco trim tab controls were mounted on the vertical, something we rarely see. To the left of the wheel was a little cubby, dual USB and 12 volt outlets, and the Clarion audio controls. Push button breakers were located beneath the instrument panel on the fiberglass console. All this was situated underneath the oversized hardtop, complete with bonded skylight. The underside has a matte finish to knock down glare. The 300 has a welcome three-person seating behind the helm. The captain's seat is in the center around a double wide seat. To starboard is a separate companion seat. Our test boat had tricolor Biscayne blue upholstery with diamond stitching. The height from the deck to the top of the bolster when up was 33 inches in leaning post mode. But unlike in most boats, even the most expensive ones, sitting on a bolster is usually like sitting on the edge of an upholstered board. Not so on the Chaparral 300 OSX. The bolster is heavily padded on two sides, so it is comfortable to sit on in the up position. Our boat was equipped with twin Yamaha four-stroke F300 XCAs in Yamaha's custom white finish. She's measured in with an overall length of 29 feet 6 inches, had a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and with 30% fuel, two people and gear, had an estimated test weight of 10,715 pounds. With the throttles down and the boat comfortably in a steady state, we had a solid top speed of 57 miles per hour at an even 6,000 RPM. Best economic cruise came in at 3,500 RPM, running at 33 miles per hour. At that speed, the 17.8 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 1.9 miles per gallon in a range of 284 statute miles. This was calculated while still holding back a 10% reserve of the 170 gallon total fuel capacity. At 5,000 RPM, we recorded 49 miles per hour and were burning twice that of 3,500 RPM at 36.3 gallons per hour. Icomia, the International Boating Association, says that about 40% of the engine hours on the average boat are spent at idle. At 650 RPM, we went 3.5 miles per hour and got 2.9 miles per gallon. Heading up to the bow via the 19-inch wide port side passageway, we come to a sizable lounge seating section. Instead of having narrow port or starboard chaise seating as we find on most bow riders, the single OSX lounge has room enough for three adults to sunbathe or ride side by side. This measures 62 inches wide at the back, tapering to 53 inches forward. The chaise seat is 41 inches fore and aft. A filler cushion makes this forward lounging section even larger. Forward, a side-mounted cockpit table can serve guests on three sides. With 94 inches worth of stainless steel grab rail to either side, along with 2 inches by 8 inches of firmly pliable bolsters continuing up from the aft seating section, the bow is both safe and comfortable. The cockpit depth forward is 36 inches. In the port and starboard cubbies, there are JL audio speakers and drink holders. The forward center bow cushion lifts up to aid getting on and off the boat from the bow. Under the step is a 140 quart insulated compartment for ice and drinks. The top of the ankle locker is finished with a diamond non-skid pattern. Just under the hatch is an electrically actuated Lumar windlass and road storage locker with a 6 inch tie off cleat for good measure. The windlass can be controlled locally or from the helm. All this to handle the 22-pound polished stainless steel DTX anchor which fits perfectly through the stem. 
Seven and three quarter inch pull-up cleats are to port and starboard. Over the helm and part of the cockpit is the fiberglass hardtop, fabricated with opening skylight, powder coated frame and overhead LED lighting. Two additional JL audio speakers are forward mounted and to either side. The skylight can be fully open, partially screened or fully opaque depending on preference. R300 OSX was fitted with an optional SureShade retractable canopy which provided refuge from the midday sun. Off to the right of the helm we have a sliding hatch leading down into the snug hideaway and head compartment. Down below there's a sleeping arrangement for two with a flip up bench and stowable slide out porta potty. Sitting clearance is 3 feet 1 inches high. Head controls and sink are off to the far side of the compartment as well as the optional 12 volt AC controls and vent. Although there's a porthole to starboard just below the CO2 monitoring unit we could see AC being necessary in this compartment. Also, when transitioning back up to the deck, be mindful of not grabbing the joystick when emerging. Behind the helm seat is an optional mini galley prep station, storage in a cabinet below, sink with running water, mini fridge, trash receptacle, and sturdy stainless steel grab rail. Following the L bench seating around, dead astern and just adjacent to the galley prep station, we find the primary entertaining area on the 300 OSX. An alternative is a triple wide home seat which pivots the entire seating fixture to starboard thus opening the entire cockpit for entertaining. Under the port bench seating is a compartment for a 25 quart carry-on cooler. Both cockpit drains and those located throughout the boat discharge directly overboard and not into the bilge. In the stern of the boat is a conversational chaise lounge that can be automatically moved into several functions. Controlled via a detent LED push button switch just after the dive door. This is probably the most remarkable feature on the boat and it's standard. Without any conversion, we can place a removable table in front of it. From the helm, we gain access to the below deck mechanical space from the port side LED panel. The center raft seating section is supported by a single position electrohydraulic actuator. The underside is layered with high density acoustical foam to dampen the optional generator. Front and center is also where the table is stowed. Access to virtually all of the ship's mechanical equipment is in this one large space. Here we find the fuel water separator, main 12 volt AC, 60 hertz shore power breaker, the house battery bank, hydraulic steering pumps for each engine, and the Teleflex Optimus 360 steering system control box between them. Mounted above are two 20 amp triple bank battery charger units. Directly below was the boat's main through hull raw water seacock and strainer and the bilge pumps complete with the high bilge alarm. Notice that our engine battery banks are wired in emergency parallel with voltage sensing relay for fault tolerance, along with a blade breaker to kill engine power in the event of an emergency. Forward of the battery bank is our optional 12 volt AC pump for our accommodations quarters. Back top side, separated by a cross beam and off to the port side, we have a separate compartment which houses our detachable swim ladder. We found the swim ladder easily deployable and especially like the push button locking mechanism on the door for safety's sake while underway. Moving aft just below the chaise lounge and the clarion speaker controls, there is a washdown hose. Continuing aft along the slip resistant sea deck onto the swim platform, the overall platform measured 8 feet 3 inches by 3 feet 3 inches with 15 inch wide transitioning walkthrough space. Handy fuel fills were mounted to port and starboard and both feed a single tank. And just below and to either side are 7 and 3 quarter inch fixed cleats and below those are 7 and 3 quarter inch pull-up cleats. The 2 foot 6 inch by 11 inch stainless steel four-step hideaway swim platform ladder meets and exceeds the ABYC 22 inch length standard here. And to port we have our 30 amp shore power outlet, black water pump out and direct fresh water adapter. All this space can easily be sectioned off by a partition door while underway. And that's our full inspection of the all-new 2020 Chaparral 300 OSX. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.